Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are going to be looking at a vocal effects plugin. Um, let's dive straight into the computer and get on with it. I think you're gonna like this one. I wanted to talk to you about a new vocal plugin that I've been using. Um, really, really enjoy using. It's been really quite, quite refreshing to have something that's so easy to use and just have it generally speed up my workflow. Um, so without further ado, we're just gonna dive straight in not paid to promote this um this is mine i've bought it i just thought i would share it and show you what it does so what we're going to do is i'm going to show you the vocal that we've got and then i'll show you how we came to get that vocal using this one plugin and the one thing i like about the plugin is that it it's very cp the the cp the cpu usage is very very low so um, now I've got my teeth back in. The CPU usage is very low, so you can cram this on like tons of tracks and it just doesn't mess up the computer at all. So it's all good. Um, so even if you're running a machine that's not maybe as powerful as this one, you should still be really good with this um, particular plugin. So anyway, let's go. This is what the track sounds like. Now let's just have a listen to what we started off with. Let's solo out Emma's vocal. So Emma, so it's myself and Emma singing on this track. Um, let's just have a listen to Emma's vocal now. But what we'll do is we, we're going to take the plugin off. So let's just have a listen to it with it off first of all. So here we go. Here's the vocal without. And I was hoping if I got down on one day. Would you take a chance and build this life with me? So that's Emma's vocal without anything at all. Then we put the plugin on and let's hear the difference. And I was hoping if I got down on one day, would you take a chance and build this life with me? bit punchier, more standout. It's just still some stuff I need to do to it, um, to tidy up some more. But overall, it sounds much better. But let's just have a look at what the plugin does. So first thing you're going to notice is the UI is like really, really simple to use. Um, I'm just going to shrink myself, actually. Let me just move myself out of the way. Um, so you've got Dynamics, Tone, Space, and SFX. Uh, let's just go for these one by one. Um, you've also got up here a bunch of presets, like a whole bunch of them. Some of the presets that are really cool actually are ones like um, the backing vocal effects um, presets. I found them really useful. Um, yeah, I, I just have a play with those, see what you think. Anyway, I found this one called Subtle Lift. Um, and then we went through some options. So let's just play and I'll show you what each one does. So we've got compression first. And if you toggle along on each of the panels, it gives you different options. So we've got Opto FET, VCA and FET, Tube and FET, and then back to Opto FET. You've also got like a wet and dry knob here um, to mix it in. Anyway, let's go. And I was hoping That's with, without. And if I got down on one day, would you take a chance and build this life with me? Now all you get and is the comp and the DSR. So you've not you got no ratios, no attack and release, you've got none of that. That that is all you get. Really simple, very minimal. You're using your ears, does it sound good? Okay. Um, again, could you do with more? Yeah, but I think actually this does quite a good job. Um, and like I say, if you play around, it'll give you different variations in the sound. And I was hoping so that one's pushing it a bit more. If I got down on one day, would you take a chance and build this life with me? I think I actually prefer the Opto Fat. Um, so we go tone next, um, simple again, you've got low, mid, high and air, you've got a low pass filter as well, and again, if you switch, um, you'll notice that the curve changes very slightly, even though it's the same settings, the curve will change ever so slightly between vintage, modern 
and clear. That's all you get at the moment. I'm sure, there'll be updates in the future. Again, move these, tweak these to your liking, do whatever you got to do to them to make them sound good. The one that was really quite like was this one here. So let me just play it without. And I was hoping if I got down on one day, would you take a chance and build this? Really helps the vocal cut through the mix and like you can really hear it. Especially in this track that's very, there's a lot of low end in, in this song. Then you've got space, I think this one's self-explanatory, but you've got reverb and delay. Um, over here on the right hand side you can change the rate of the delay. Uh, would I like more options with the delay? Yeah, but this is what you get at the moment. Um, you've got dark hall, um, you've got the plate, digital, room, short plate, infiniverb. And yeah, back to Dark Hall. Uh, let me just show you what that sounds like. And I was hoping if I got down on one day, would you take a chance and build this life with me? And I've been dreaming of this moment for very breathy at the moment um, you can get rid of all of that afterwards um, then you got SFX um, we got pitch widener on at the moment just a touch but let me show you what it does and I was hoping if I got down on one day would you take a chance and build this life with me and I've been dreaming of this moment for so long and so I'm pouring out my heart in on. this song telephone so what do you say and then back to pitch widener so like you say you get a few options you don't get loads but that's kind of what I like about it you're not like overwhelmed with options like you are with like maybe something like isotopes nectar 4 i think this is just a really simple easy to use interface um and then when you put that into the mix it makes it sound just so much so just uplifting listen to it and i was hoping if i got down on one knee would you take a chance and build this life with me How much difference that makes so what do you say it's really nice isn't it so um yeah that gives you an idea of that particular plugin i really like it let me know what your thoughts are though in the comment section um get involved in the chat do you think uh, this is a plugin that you would use i think i will use this more when i'm doing my cover videos um because it's just something quick that i can work with tune the vocal up a little bit maybe and then add this straight after um, I probably will use it a lot on backing vocals um, for a client's project or a single release I might decide to use other projects in conjunction with this I'm not sure um, I need to play with it some more to decide whether um, I would use it um, for like pro finished work um, but at the moment I really like the way it sounds I mean I can't see why I wouldn't let me know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, I'll be back with loads more of these videos. See you again soon.